Hey, this is Andrew Lim, inviting you to go out on a limb. So, I'm here in KL, in Malaysia. And my light rail but I'm here in KL for uh, a few weeks so I'm just gonna you know I've actually vlogged a lot about KL but I'm gonna show you some of the places to eat because I just get, keep discovering new ones so come go on and live with me and we'll eat through KL together folks before we start kind of hit the subscribe button and the notify button for new content that I upload weekly terima kasih so known as the Chinatown of Kuala Lumpur, Pataling Street is a popular tourist destination here in the capital of Malaysia. It is also a spot filled with popular vendors and restaurants that have been around for decades serving delicious food and beverages. So I grew up coming to this Ayi Mata Kuching vendor. Uh, Mata Kuching is longan in Malay. So this stall actually sells a refreshing longan uh, with winter melon drink. So after the pandemic, uh, this container here, this huge container here, is now disappointingly filled with the bottled version of this popular drink. Now when I was a kid, the vendor would fill the cup with the drink and offer it to the customers. A uh, flimsy plastic cup. This soy milk vendor here is also popular with its silky smooth tofu fa or tofu dessert uh, as good as the ones in Ipo which is about a two and a half three hours drive from Kuala Lumpur. Uh, and it makes a refreshing soy milk as well which you definitely need on a hot Malaysian afternoon. Now Luna New Year or Chinese New Year was just around the corner uh, during my visit here which explains these unique containers with red cover filled with New Year's delight uh, like pineapple tarts, my favorite, crispy egg crepes uh, and different kinds of cookies. Now this vendor also makes fresh batches of shrimp fritters that are popular in this region including Indonesia and Thailand as well. Here you also find this famous confectionery with a stall selling its famous crispy barbecue pork bun as well as Chinese New Year cookies. So located about a 20 minutes drive from Pataling Street is the suburb called Pataling Jaya. Now not to confuse viewers here, <laughs> which is a home to this food court that has a popular vendor selling popular noodle soups of Malaysia. Now the guy selling this is probably in his 80s uh, and he's actually helped by another guy who is also in his 80s so patience is definitely required when you order from here but it's definitely worth it. The shop is known for its prawn noodle soup, a popular noodle with soup base made from pork as well as uh, the shells of the shrimp and this dish originated from Penang. So it's also known for its curry laksa, which is a curry noodle with broth made from coconut milk and curry paste, uh, resulting in a creamy fragrant broth. It's often topped with fish cakes, shredded chicken meat or pork, fried bean curd and cockles. Another well-known laksa of Malaysia is Assam laksa. So unlike curry laksa, it is not made with coconut milk. Instead, it's much lighter broth. It's made with fish, tamarind, and torched ginger flour that has a spicy aromatic flavor. Now combined with a spice paste made with uh, shrimp paste, uh, spring onions, and fragrant roots, it is Malaysia's version of tong yam, only much tastier. <laughs>
Both laksas have roots to the Peranakan culture, which is the straight Chinese culture here in Malaysia. And these noodles used to be sold by traveling vendors in the 50s, which now is actually served from casual food stalls to high-end restaurants throughout Malaysia. So there you have it, Malaysia is a food paradise and you never go hungry even if all you want is just some delicious snacks. <laughs>